How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my C++ programming series. Today we're going to be looking at the Tower of uh, Hanoi using recursion. Um, this game, well, it could be considered a game, it has a little bit of a story to it. In the 19th century, a game called the Tower of Hanoi became popular in Europe, and this game represents the work that uh, was underway in the Temple of Brahma. Now, at the creation of the universe, priests in the Temple of Brahma were supposedly given three diamond needles, with one needle containing 64 golden discs. Now, each golden disc is slightly smaller than the disc below it, and the priest's task is to move all 64 discs from the first needle to the third needle. So, let me show you a little example of, of this game here. Now, the rules for mo moving the discs are as follow. Um, only one disc can be moved at a time and the removed disc must be placed on t um, on one of the needles and a larger disc cannot be placed on top of a smaller disc. The priests were told that once they had moved all the discs from the first needle to the third needle the universe would come to an end. Now our objective is to write a program that prints the sequence of moves needed to transfer the discs from the first needle to the third needle. So if, if you look at this little um, kind of crappy little example I drew here here are the three needles and here are the discs and they all are, are stacked in ascending order you know they get bigger as they go as they go down now as before we think in terms of recursion so we first consider the case when the uh, first needle contains only one disc now in this case the disc can be moved directly from needle one to needle three here and <clears throat> then we consider the case when the, the uh, first needle contains only two discs. In this case, first we move the disc from needle 1 to needle 2, and then we move the second disc from needle 1 to needle 3. Finally, we move the disc from needle 2 to needle 3. Next, we consider the case when the first needle contains three discs, and the then generalize this case to the, uh, basically to where it has 64 discs. So, Basically, in this, for this to work here, we're going to move this first one, this, the small one, to needle three. So it's, it's, it'll be it'll be over here. The the middle one to needle two. So they'll all be it's it's it'll be the third one, the medium one, and the small one. Okay, they're all spread out. Then we move this small one back on top of the medium one. We move the large one over here where it's empty. Then we move the small one back to needle number one, we move the medium one on top of the larger one on three, and then we move the smallest one back over here, and they're all going to be transferred. Now, this this basically uh, creates the following um, algorithm in Suedo code here. We want to move the top n minus one discs from needle one to needle two, using needle three as the intermediate needle, and then we move uh, whatever number disk number we're on in from needle one to three, and then we move the top n minus one disks from needle can't spell apparently from needle two to needle three using needle one as the intermediate needle. And I've already written this uh, function here. I just I call it move. It's going to take four integers. Oh crap! Uh, let me undo that. Um, one for the count variable, whatever disk we're on and three for the needles because we need something to reference um, we, they, they are going to change the order um, in the actual function so let's take a look at the function here here's our move um, notice our count variable and then we have needle one needle three and needle two okay because needle three is going to be the intermediate needle um, now while this is going to keep going on if count is greater than zero, basically if there are still disks to move. So we're going to make a function call to move. We're going to go count minus one. Okay, we're going to always take off a needle here. Um, and then we're going to basically move these from needle one to needle three. And they will be in that order, needle one to needle three. And then again, we're going to make a function call to move and that's going to be moving from needle two to three and then back up and one to two. And if you see how that's working here. So we can see the first 
statement, let's just run this. The first case, if we have only three disks, we'll just put three, and as you can see, all the disks are eventually moved to needle three from needle one. Now, this program can grow substantially long. If you enter five disks, look how many more moves are added to just get them all to, to move over here from needle one to needle three. And as you can see, you can step through it and kind of do it yourself. All five disks are eventually moved. Now they say that the time required to move 64 disks from needle 1 to needle 3 is roughly 5 times 10 to the 11th power of years. It is estimated that our universe is about 15 billion years old, 1.5 times 10 to the 10th power. So this calculation shows that our universe would last about 33 times as long as it already has. Um, assume that a computer can generate 1 billion 10 to the ninth power moves per second, then the number of moves that the computer can generate in one year is basically 3.2 times 10 to the seventh power times 10 to the ninth power. So basically the computer time required to generate 2 to the 64th power um, of moves is about 500 years if, if it move, made 1 billion moves per second. So you can see, you know, if, if you ran this again with 64 disks, this thing will just go on and on and on and it I don't think you'll you'll see the end of it you might if you let it run long enough I, I don't know but there's the um, Tower of Hanoi game implemented using recursion that's all we're going to cover for today I want to thank you guys for watching please rate comment and subscribe and I hope to see you for my next video